Hi there, Vinny from Project Frugal. Today we're going to be talking about Hyperverse. What is it? What can it do for you? Is it dodgy? Let's find out. Check it out. In November 2021, I was involved in a presentation featuring Hyperfun. Subsequently, this name has been changed to Hyperverse. We're going to delve a bit deeper and show you what happened, what's happening, and why. In late December 2021, Hyperfun was listed on the Financial Markets Authority, and the FMA were concerned that Hyperfun may be operating a scam. Additionally, the UK, India, Guernsey, Germany, and Bermuda have posted warnings about this particular scheme. An article in mid-December from TheGuardian.com mentions $50 million in lost cryptocurrency after two Australian exchanges collapse. This is to do with Blockchain Global, which was under control by Sam Lee and his partner Ryan Zhu. According to various sources, these two have taken off to Dubai. Now around this time in mid-December, Hyperfun changed its name to Hyperverse. With big hoo-ha and fanfare, let's check that out. Here's the Hyperverse website. They're leveraging off Facebook's metaverse in an attempt to get investors to invest in their new platform, which is now replacing Hyperfund. So a nice looking website. If we scroll down a bit, we've got a trailer, which will be this video here. We've got About Us. Hyperverse is a virtual metaverse comprising of millions of planets. So essentially it's a game where you can buy, trade, do stuff. Apparently. I don't know how long this will take to implement if they ever get it off the ground other features virtual experience tokenized items galaxy pioneer be a galaxy wanderer or start your own interstellar enterprise in the hyperverse sounds great let's go and have a look down a bit further and whole swagger components vdeo decentralized autonomous organization smart contracts of assets in the hyperverse world very confusing for your average Joe blogs. Let's go and have a look at their privacy policy. File not found. Not good. Around the time when this website was released, I also found an MP4 file on the internet, which was entitled Hyperverse Transition and Compliance Update. So let's go and have a look at that. So we have people that are agents of disinformation. There are two or three major blogs that are just attack animals and they intentionally spread misinformation to draw traffic to their site. It's the same thing with two, three, four people that do videos on YouTube typically and um, make wild claims and wild assessments. And for them, everything is a scam. So I don't believe everything is a scam, but we'll carry on. It doesn't really matter what they say. We know what the truth is. We know that the company has moved to Dubai and is setting up proper legal uh, framework. It's uh, compliant. It's got massive compliant effort, and it shines as a, sh a beacon of compliance and sophistication in a sea of uh, other scams and less worthy offers. In a sea of other scams and less worthy offers? Is this guy actually calling his own product a scam? Now, this new standard presentation is the only presentation allowed. So all previous presentations that you've seen, all materials, all other materials are considered non-compliant with the Hyperverse new requirements. That includes any previous videos and audio recordings. Obviously, anything that said Hyperfund no longer applies. All materials prior to the 1st of December should have already been discontinued and any earlier videos deleted. And anything that you have put out of any way, shape, or form about Hyperverse that is not this standard presentation, those also must be deleted. Uh, these, these are important, especially if you are going to do not just a presentation, but Q&A and testimonials. So the key points there are that if you want to allow Q&A and testimonials, you as the presenter bear the responsibility to ensure that accurate information is shared and People are stopped if they do not share accurate information and that no income claims are allowed. So in particular, if someone starts to say 
you know, if I invest my something or if I put my euros in, you, know, you, you have to stop them immediately. There's no euros, there's no dollars, there's no money, there's no investment. It's a membership uh, and we do everything in HU. This is just to clarify, I promised to show you uh, some of the details of the launch, but also let's make it very clear who is an approved Hyperverse presenter. So if you are, there are six people here, Keith Williams, Kalpesh Patel, Brenda Chunga, Tammy Jackson, Warren Hemstrom, and Mick Mulcahy. If you are not one of those six people, you are not an approved Hyperverse community presenter and you must apply. Interesting. So now with the change from Hyperfund to Hyperverse, you must be one of these six people or you must apply to be a new community presenter. Let's close with some action steps. Your, your websites, your videos, your marketing on social media. Remember, only approved material, no websites, videos, funnels, systems, emails without approval, no videos without approval, and please delete all that old stuff, the old videos and social media posts. Uh, remember especially social media groups and pages and chat groups that are using the Hyperverse name or logo have to stop immediately, especially you guys on WhatsApp and Telegram seem to love to do that. Stop immediately, please. Then submit your marketing material for approval, but wait until you've seen and studied. Read the service agreement. Watch a few of the, uh, uh, you, know, you, you could watch all six of these presentations and hear it from a different, you'll hear the same presentation from six different voices. That would be a powerful way for you to learn. Uh, do this. And don't create material until you've seriously studied. Okay, please. Let's go and have a look at their main presentation that was released early December. Welcome to our distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today in this spectacular online event. It's time for me to introduce you, Ms. Hope Hill, Compliance Officer of Hypervis. As the decorated Compliance Officer with more than a decade of experience, Hope was brought on board to tackle challenging compliance issues and to navigate the platform to greater heights. Hope's expertise in skills, uh, and definitely the skills have been invaluable to the company. And she's passionate about helping the platform grow and succeed. So here, ladies and gentlemen, we shall pass the time to Hope. And Hope, over to you. Greetings to the global membership of the new Hyper Universe from the Office of Compliance. You are witnessing an historic moment as the Hypertech Group launches Hyperverse. And you will hear from our founders, others on the corporate team, as well as our community leaders to help explain to you just how massive this launch is. But first, I want to take this opportunity to explain just a little about the compliance, what it means to you, and how compliance impacts the ongoing evolution of the Hyperverse. One thing we take seriously is our adherence to compliance, and we have gone to great lengths to be a globally compliant company. This lady's real name is not Hope Hill, it's Renee Jow. HopeHillProducts.com. I'm a Northwest girl, passive income guru, crypto lover, shattering all those glass ceilings and helping create abundance one person at a time. So Renee Jow is Hope Hill. Hope Hill is Renee Jow. Compliance. That's right. And it gets worse. She's a Joe Biden lover. This is her actual website. She sells respirators, medical masks, anything to do with personal protection equipment. I'm not seeing any signs of stellar success so far. The compliance side of things, well, it's not sticking up so far. So once Hyperfund changed to Hyperverse, this is the new CEO that they've rolled out, Stephen Reese Lewis. Doesn't exist on LinkedIn anywhere. Supposedly owner of an IT company, supposedly sold to Adobe. I've had a look through Adobe's records. I can find no evidence of any such company existing and being sold to Adobe. Up next, we have none other than our very own CEO of Hypervis, Mr. Stephen Rees Lewis, to join us here. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen is a proven business builder with extensive experience across emerging markets, new technologies, and digital assets. As the CEO of Hypervis, he's determined to use new technologies to craft out a new space for the community in a new metaverse universe. Let us hear from him to find out more about his thoughts on this new trend, its underlying potential, and the blueprint for Hypervis. 
Let's all put our hands together and welcome Stephen. Over to you, Stephen. Well, hello everyone. Um, this is Stephen, the Chief Executive Officer of Hyperverse. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for your participation today and for giving me the chance to share more about Hyperverse, our operations and future direction, and how we're preparing to stand at the forefront of all the latest innovations today. To begin, I'm very happy with our achievements achieved thus far and how much we have grown. The group is always looking out for potential trends in the market and products with strong potential, not for the short run, but for the long term. So far, what we've seen is poor reading ability, poor script writing and poor delivery. Let's continue. This metaverse race has just started, so I do strongly urge everyone to join us as an early backer and supporter of this foray into the metaverse era. In fact, I believe we have done all the research needed and we are poised to launch something that can truly shine in the years to come. We will create a parallel system of existence that will change how people live how we interact with people around the world, and even how companies and corporations will conduct business. There will be something for everyone in Hyperverse, and I hope that you are all as excited as I am about the future. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you guys in Hyperverse world. Thank you very much for your wonderful sharing, Stephen. And I believe everyone here now understands a bit more about the concept, vision, and goals behind Hyperverse. Here's Ryan Zhu. Clearly, English is not his first language. Chinese will do fine with subtitles, but doesn't say anything of any value or any use. Hypervers to the Hyperverse in this presentation should be understood as referring to the Hyperverse ecosystem. The Hyperverse membership is shared and does not automatically include the Hyperverse ecosystem. Acquiring a Hyperverse membership gives you access to benefits such as education, the daily rewards program, and optional access to other products and services within various parts of the Hypertech group, including separate Hyperverse ecosystem. Access to other optional products and services that we'll be now presenting to you right now is part of the Hyperverse ecosystem. Access to them may be subject to KYC and separate qualification processes and applications, and they may not be available in all countries. Under no circumstances should this presentation be considered as any type of solicitation, investment, legal, or financial advice. There is no recommendation in this presentation to acquire any membership, product, or service. You may, on your, you may make your own decisions based upon your own due diligence, and we recommend that you seek the advice of suitable, qualified professionals before making any decisions. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. This is Greg, CMO of Molecular Future, also called MOF. I am honored to be here today in this online event to celebrate the launch of Hyperverse. I personally believe that the company is taking a step in the right direction. And I am 100% confident that it is going to be a big success in the metaverse sector. So this guy does actually exist, Greg Richter's, although he's listed as Greg Richter on the presentation. So he joined up with Twitter in August 2020, but stopped posting in November 2020, supposedly the CEO of Molecular Future. Let's go and have a look at Molecular Future. Here's the entire timeline of Molecular Future. Had a couple of ups, not looking too flash, worthless, a fifth of a cent. In fact, this guy is very hopeful. I am new with MOF and I have 30,560 coins. Do you think this year the price will go up to $2 or more? I don't think so. In fact, this 30,560 coins are now worth $67.32. Not going to be retiring on that in a hurry. So now we come up to Kalpesh Patel. Seems to be the most eloquent speaker so far. However, he's still reading his lines and he's still stuffing them up. So really, they should be doing this all again. Do it from scratch. Get it right if you're going to be impressive. I'd like to also say thank you to Jaden Wee, who served as served our community so well as a hypertech 
a group CEO and now takes on a new role. And we certainly welcome our new CEO, Stephen Reese Lewis, and look forward to working under his leadership. Right now, humanity is going through a quantitative, a quantum transition in a way that engages us in ways that we've never been engaged before. We mostly live our lives online. In the past decade, more people are living on devices than ever before. From the second they wake up, they go to the bathroom, eat, travel, work, watch TV, go out with friends, whatever you're doing, eventually get back home, you go to sleep, and that phone is by your side. In fact, it's absolutely becoming integral to everything that we do. And if we lose the connection, we feel paralyzed as if a limb has been lost until we get reconnected to our universe. And it just keeps getting better and better with the lucky draw. So which of these lucky winners with the random Bitcoin addresses will win big? Let's find out. And ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the event, but not to forget the most exciting moment of the day. The moment you all have been waiting for. The lucky draw. Ho -ho. Ladies and gentlemen, the USDT that has been collected from 25th November to 5th of December for this lucky draw will be placed in a prize pool. Yeah, we will place it in a prize pool and three lucky winners will be selected and walk away with this cash pure amount. Well, they were shared it, but you must be wondering like, hey, what's the total amount of it? All right, allow me to unveil it to you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have collected $53,185. Wow, such a huge amount, isn't it? And if we split the $53,185 to three, each of the winner will walk away with close to $18,000. Whoa, hopefully you are one of the lucky winner. And now if everyone is ready, we shall unveil who are gonna be the lucky winners for this cash pool. So here for our first winner, who shall it be? Let us bring in the lucky drawer mechanic and here at a count of three, two, one. Unveil me the first lucky winner. Who's gonna be a part of this cash prize? Come on, come on, tell me. Okay, you're gonna see your wallet address coming up and this is the wallet address. Congratulations, lucky winner number one. You walk away with this fabulous gift. And for your information, well, we will contact you for price fulfillment. Congratulations. And now let's see who is going to be our second winner. Are you ready? If you are at a count of three. The question has to be asked, do these people really exist? Or is this just a marketing ploy just to say, hey, look, you've won some money, but have you really? Bravo! And once again, right here, congratulations to all our winners. Today is indeed your lucky day. Well, besides, say, besides saying congratulations to the three winners we have here, we will also, you know, like to say a big thank you to every single one of you because indeed today is your lucky day too. You found out so much about Hyperverse and here we hope that you can find out more information. Be a part of us in Hyperverse. We would like to enjoy more enjoyment, great moments together, isn't it? All right, that will be the end of our Hyperverse global launch event. Once again, on behalf of the company, we'd like to say a big thank you to every single one of you for joining us here. We hope you have a wonderful and fruitful session here, and we hope to see you in Hyperverse World. Stay safe, stay healthy, and goodbye. See you again. So we'll have a look at Trustpilot now. 736 reviews, the first one posted on December the 2nd, 2021. Ishmael says it's a scam, Ponzi scum, rebranded Hyperfund, Got too many warnings from financial regulators. Stay away. We move up a little bit. Five star review. Five star review. Five star review. Five star review. Keep going here. This guy is not happy. A guy called Kalpesh Patil was a big time promoter of the scheme. I heard he was making $4 million a month. Owners have fled to Dubai. UK, Indian, Bermuda, USA regulators have marked this as a fraud. Their compliant officer calling herself Hope Pool is in fact Renee Joel, who's selling COVID masks on Twitter. I thank God I only lost my money and not my grands. Others weren't so lucky. So, interesting. Up until three days ago, when Hyperverse, thanks for visiting Trustpilot. Unfortunately, it's not possible to leave a review here anymore because the company's website has closed. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. So, I'm not sure why their website was called Hyperverse.net. They've got multiple URLs, it seems. Company has never 
claimed the Trustpilot profile, hasn't verified additional company details, and hasn't replied to any negative reviews ever. So they've never been active in this space. We go down here, we've got review after review after review after review of positive stuff. Good opportunity, spelt wrong, big earnings super, and a lot of these latest five-star reviews are from India, it seems. I'm very, very happy. Good. Great Hyperverse project, nice work. So as you can see from the sheer number of reviews in the last few days, three days ago, review, positive review after positive review. So this is not normal business practice that people would be doing this without being told you need to go and do this. Most trustworthy platform ever seen. Page after page. Page four. Hyperverse's amazing program dedicated to launch brand new opportunity on our Palnet. So the five star reviews just go on and on and on and on. Fantastic company, best company ever, making millions. Fantastic. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. Hyperfund rebranded as Hyperverse with the promise of NFTs, a whole bunch of other financial products. Five star reviews on Trustpilot, left, right, and center. Multiple warnings from different financial market authorities around the world saying stay away, it's potentially a scam. B-grade celebrity endorsements from multiple has -beens. Sorry, Chuck. Chuck Norris here, and I want to give a shout-out to Hyperverse. Under the leadership of CEO Steven, Hyperverse will be the leader of Metaverse space. This is the dawn of a new beginning with a Metaverse odyssey with endless possibilities. Keep up all the great work and just know you are Chuck Norris approved. Your friend, Chuck Norris. Brand new CEO who has never existed on LinkedIn or on Google, is nowhere to be found in the past. Compliance officer Hope Hill, who is in fact Renee Joel. Hyperfund group having multiple companies that have failed or have serious issues surrounding what's happened with them. Blockchain global collapse, $50 million owing. All the big leaders are in Dubai. Unsustainable business model. Hey everybody, it's Jim Norton. I hope you know that without me saying it, but I figure I have some unsightly facial hair, so I wanted to clarify. Anyway, the facial hair is not what I'm here to talk about. I have really exciting news, and I'm actually delaying this great news by talking about my facial hair. So forget the facial hair. Here's the exciting news. Hyperverse has launched. Hyperverse is a decentralized metaverse platform with infinite possibilities. Now, I strongly believe Stephen will lead Hyperverse to success. Let's all join in the Hyperverse. What are you waiting for? Do it now. I've told you about it. You know it's launched. So stop watching this video and join in the Hyperverse now. Well, that about wraps this video up. Hope you've learned something. Hope you've enjoyed it. In my opinion, I would not invest in this company. But thanks for watching anyway. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification for more, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.